hello friends welcome to my channel or welcome back I just finished filming this video that you clicked on or making this bow so now I'm doing an intro so I can show you what bow we're making today if you're interested in making it I have a video of this but there's no talking so I wanted to redo it I mentioned that in this video but anyway this is my classic size and I did a little bit of embroidery on it and I do show you how to do the embroidery as well. So if you want to keep watching and want to learn how to make, if you want to learn how to make this hair bow or watch me make it, then keep watching. <laughs> yeah. Hello. So I'm a week late because I have decided that I'm going to post I'm just getting right into it. I'm gonna post during summer every other week because I think that's something I can maintain since I can't do every week, I feel like. Well, clearly, since my posting has not been like that. I have a, a scratch on my table. Anyway, so I decided I'm just going to do my classic style bow because I was looking at my videos and this one is I've done one in the past but it was no talking and it's one of my older ones so it has like the bad lighting and all that stuff so I figured I would remake it and I haven't done this shade of pink before so I'm going to do that as well this is my favorite linen uh, I'll link the shop where I got it below because I can't remember I think it's fabric store.com or something like that and I'll try and find the name of it because I don't I think it's like dusty rose or something I'm not sure but anyway so you're gonna need two pieces obviously and my size is five and a half nope yep five and a half inches by four inches and then I always when I'm cutting then I'll extend it whatever the length the height is it doesn't matter just one and a half inches of this so by four because yeah and then usually I would or my last video I iron ironed it in, in front of you guys but I'm not going to because this is my setup because I'm at my desk but um, I guess I can fold it and then I'll show you guys I'll be back so I just ironed them and I have a mini iron that's linked in my Amazon storefront below but my husband had a or has a job interview today so he brought the big iron out and that is what I used and that's why I didn't show it but anyway so this is what it, that looks kind of cool <laughs> so when I iron this I just flatten it first and smooth all the wrinkles out and then I make a little since it's hot um, I'll push it down and it'll hold the marks. It's still a little warm. And then I'll fold this up, fold this down, iron it, and then middle, middle, and then I'll iron this a little bit longer than the other ones. And then I'll flip it over and do the same. And if you need to, you could put something like heavy on top of it. Um, Sometimes I just put my phone on top of it and then, yeah. And I always do this size, like, cause it's the size I've done in my shop, but you can do like any size, obviously that you want. I just think it's a good size to, it's not too big and not too small. Um, but if you want to see a bigger size, I can come up with a bigger size and cause sometimes wasting fabric when you're new, or whatnot well even if you're not wasting fabric isn't fun when you're trying to figure out the measurements but I have a ton of fabric and I don't make these anymore and my necklaces only take like this much fabric so I don't mind but anyway so and then this one I just fold it into th I probably started it this way I just fold it into threes and then I'm going to embroider this obviously otherwise this would be a really short video um, and I'll probably time lapse it just in case. Well, maybe I won't. I'm 
I'm trying to think if I usually time lapse it. I guess I won't, because then I can like talk about the stitches and stuff. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna pick out the colors that I'm gonna use, because I haven't done that yet. So I will be right back. Oopsie. Okay. Yeah. This is really dirty. Those are leaves. Don't worry. Okay. Goodbye again. <laughs> okay. So these are the colors that I picked out. And I have them kind of laid in a certain way so I can, uh, so I know which flower is which. <laughs> it makes sense in my brain. So um, I'll have these, the names listed below, but just in case you want to write it down right now, I'll mention it. Um, so I have 920, which is this. Can you focus? I have it set on autofocus, but that is a lie. 920. I have 829. 632 with a little buzz. 945. 154 and 936. It's been a while since I've been um, embroidery floss shopping, so I should do that. Well, I will do that one day. Anyway, so back to the video. So I try and leave the middle part blank because that's where this thing's going to go. So I'm going to... And one day I'll do like one piece of thread so you guys can see how detailed and thin it can look. Oh, these are not good scissors. Switch. But I do like the chunkier, I want this to look kind of chunky. So I'm going to do, maybe I'll do three because would that be too chunky? I don't know. We'll try it. Why not? So when I do, when I say three, I mean like three, because there's six in each strand, thread, I don't know. This strand is made up of six pieces of thread. <laughs> and usually I do two, and then once you put in the needle, it turns into four because math. You're supposed to just pull one at a time, but sometimes I I usually don't do that. And then, but it all ends up working kind of. So this time I'm gonna do three, if you can see that, like I said. If I can get it all to thread. I'll be right back. Okay, I forgot to get a, I usually get, grab like a damp rag or a little bowl of water so I can get the ends wet so they're easier to thread. I guess if you're making this for yourself, you could just lick it, but I've gotten into this habit, so that is what I'm going to do. Or what I do. So I kind of want, I think I want, I'm going to do woven wheel, the woven wheel stitch or the woven rose, whichever one, the little rose one. It's pretty popular. Once you see it, you'll probably know. I think I'm going to do one here and one here-ish. I'm going to start right here. And then to do this, you just go through the fabric. And depending on how big you want it, you're gonna make five lines. And you want the lines to be um, at like the same size. Uh-oh. My little 
and got stuck in there. There we go. You kind of want to get it as um, evenly dispensed. <laughs> oh, I'm not in focus anymore. There you go. But it doesn't have to be exact. Just do your best. Oh, that one's really small. But that's okay. I was using, I have a little notes. <laughs> I was using the wrong color, but that's okay. I'll do these two and then, I don't know, okay. So I lied, I thought it made sense to me, but it did not. <laughs> Gosh, okay. So now that you have five lines, you're going to, it doesn't matter which one you go in between, but you wanna get as close to the middle as you can, but you do not want to go up through the middle. So I'm going in between those two and then you pull and then you're going to go over that one under this one pull over under over under over under you're gonna just keep going until Oops. You get to the, you fill it out. And it's pretty fast, like this is a pretty easy stitch. I think embroidery is pretty easy as long as you just, you just practice and then you know get it so what I like to do when a lot of mine are full this is really bright it's really gloomy outside so I'm surprised how bright my lighting is um, I like to just stitch down full and then you can just kind of fill in make little stitches and make it fuller in some areas if it's not as thick in some areas or cover the lines and that's good so one down and then I like to double knot it in the back. I know some people just tuck their threads in so you can do that if you want to. I like to just cut it. So there. And then I'm going to do another one like I said. Probably didn't need that much thread but that's okay. There's only two. Okay. Three again. Try and line it all up. Dampen the end. didn't trim the end last time and that's why my thread came in through the hole okay so now I don't really want it touching but I kind of want it close maybe I'll make them touching it really doesn't matter 
Usually I have a better game plan. We'll just put it here. I kind of want them to be similar in size. So. Yeah. Do five of these again. Oh my gosh, guys. Last video. I think I mentioned how I can only focus on one social media type thing, like video type thing. <laughs> I keep saying type thing. I was gonna do YouTube, and then obviously I do Instagram. But I made myself a Pinterest. Like I have like a Pinterest account, obviously, for my own like personal one. But I actually made my shop one, both my shops. And it's like a business account and stuff. And we'll see how long it lasts. But I'm going to try. I'm trying to bring my shops to the next level. So I feel like I could put a little bit more effort into my shops than what I've been doing. So yeah. I'm going to try it. See what happens. See how long it lasts. So and I've been posting on both of my shops TikToks the past couple days back to back. Like I'm really I'm giving it a real go. It just takes a lot of time. But then I'm like, well I could just post what I post on Instagram on my TikTok or my TikTok on my Pinterest. Like, you know, it could be repeat posts. Though I guess that could be kind of boring, but if someone follows you on all the things. But I feel like some people, a lot of people might not do that. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do for now. So, do the under over and then even though like I could still go under this one and this one, but over here I can't, I could if I squeezed it. That's why I do the anchoring thing. That way I can make sure I get more stitches on this side and not focus so much on that side. I think it makes it look less tight, like less uniform and more like petally. Does that make sense? Do one more. Done with those. And I'm going to turn it back. Also, I just designed new business cards since my my me made business cards don't have my shop name or anything on them, which was silly. And why do all these scissors suck? These used to be really good scissors. These were the only ones that I would buy. Though honestly, my kids or my husband probably used them for something. Because now it feels like there's like tape or glue. Oh, and my Lazy Tuesday ones had my Shopify name on them, so I can't use those anymore. So I just designed new ones. I haven't ordered, ordered them yet, but by the time this video goes up, I might have them. And then I'll... <laughs> I'll have them. <laughs> I was going to say I could show you guys, but this video... I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so now... I think I want this to be the center. I'm going to do a lazy daisy. Daisy? A lazy daisy daisy? I don't know if that's what they're called. I know it's a lazy daisy stitch. So. This is. No, that's four. Okay. 
to I guess you could do different thicknesses and threads for one piece that could look kind of cool like textured kind of I don't remember if I mentioned this but I wanted to do kind of like a fall fall colors even though it's not is it summer? I don't know. It's been really hot. Today's overcast though. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I live in Missouri. So I kind of want, want to do like a loose cluster. I feel like I'm going to edit all that part out. I'm reminding myself. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to do a French knot right here. So, sorry it's so far away, but what you're going to do is take your needle, you're going to wrap it around. You can do it once or twice. I'm going to do once, I think, just because I have three, well, I guess six technically. And then you're going to put your needle down where you want it to be, and it, like, you want it... I don't like to put it in the hole that you went up into, but like next to it, so the stitch is hiding it. And then pull your needle down, and you wanna hold this kinda of tight, not too tight, you just wanna hold onto it, and then you pull. And then you got yourself a little knot. I don't know why I said it like that. I might use that later and then I'm going to tie this oh anyway so I'm from Missouri I don't know if I took that part out and and um the weather's really crazy here because it's the midwest and I think that's just how it is in all the Midwest. So, like the other day, it was 90 to, in the 90s, and then it could just be in the 70s, 60s, like the next day. It's crazy. But today's overcast. And I'm, which I'm fine with. I just don't like it when it's really hot and humid. Oh, the humidity. It's awful. I can't do it when it's humid. I don't know what the point of that story was. I was gonna say something, but I completely forgot because I was talking about a French knot. Oh, I would love to know where you guys are from though. Mm -hmm. What's your weather like? Just because, I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. And we do like to travel a bit. We don't travel outside of the country. I mean, we have, um, just barely. We went to Puerto Rico, which was lovely, but especially since we have young kids and Everly's in school, it's kind of hard to do outside of the U.S., especially because we're like in the middle of the country, so we could drive. I mean, they're all like Midwest states, but <laughs> you could still drive anywhere, but continental at least. Though we have been to Hawaii a couple times, which obviously is an amazing place. I just did something. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. So for a lazy to easy stitch, focus. So you just go up next to the knot and then you're going to poke a hole next to the stitch you just made. Pull a little bit and then depending on how big you want your flower to be, I'll do like this big. You want to stitch up, pull, not too tight, 
and then anchor it down. And there you go. And then you just do it again. And I didn't even realize that, um, I always forget that people usually embroider with a hoop. <laughs> so you, if you have an embroidery hoop, it, um, I mean, you would still do it the same way. Except this hand probably wouldn't cramp up <laughs> as much. I like it though. I like embroidering without a hoop. I think it's easier. And you don't get those really harsh hoop lines, like the creases. Did it too much. I forgot I wanted this to look kind of not completely full, like a little, like a flower that was missing some petals. <sighs> I hope that was in focus, I'm sorry. I feel like I need to have one here. I know there's another way to do a lazy daisy stitch. I can't. I don't remember how to do it that way. I have it in one of my videos, but I just do it this way because it's easier for me. And I know I could put one here and one here and make it like a full flower looking. I mean, if you wanted to do that, obviously you can do that. But I kind of wanted like a wild flower type of a thing. My camera stopped recording, which I love. Hopefully I still have all the footage. Gosh, I remember that. It was last video. I cut out all that footage. Not the packing video. It was the one before that. Anyway, so I just used that one. What do I want to do with this color? I guess I'll do the leaves green. I was going to do them purple, but we'll do it this way. And if you guys like this video, this kind of video, like the tutorial and the embroidery and all that stuff, let me know in the comments below and I can do more. I usually don't do too many of these videos, but I said I would do it. And my, like I said, the other one's super old. And it's just captions, too. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm also going to do Christmas in July. I mentioned this in my Instagram post, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know this. But I have my Instagram. I have all my links below if you want to check that out. Those out. Um... Like I even have, I have both shops, both Instagrams. I have my daughter's Etsy and her Instagram. She makes little, she just little beaded rings. 
Isn't that cute? <laughs> She's so cute. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Oh, I am going to do Christmas in July, a Christmas in July drop, which I'm excited about because I've always wanted to do one. But, um, and I mentioned this in my Instagram. But I'm never, I've never been organized enough to do one. Like it's always like July and I see people post about their drops. I'm like, oh man, I should have done one. But now I can and then I'm going to. So I'm just going to do a leaf uh, real quick. So like, so make a little stitch and then you're going to go next to it but not like down next to it like this is the top you want to go not quite to the top and then put it back down there and then do the same kind of like the same spot on the other side where you did it your first one then go down again then same thing, go down a little bit. Oops. Boom. And then I don't want them my leaf to touch any of the flowers, though. I kinda want it to look like PC or cookie cutter type. So I'm just going to connect that. I think I'm just going to leave it like that and then I'm going to do another one on this side so make a thing oh, this might be easier to show you since the lighting is really bright on this side go down a little bit and next to it that hole and do the same thing on the other side you don't have to go into the hole you can go like this bottom hole move it down after each stitch depending on how big and long you want your leaf to be Like that. I like it. Okay. I think that's as far as leaves go. I'm gonna stop. Tie it. Boom. Oh, and I have these cute little, isn't that cute? And the back's cute too. So I guess you could do it double-sided, but I'll do like an embroidery design. I think that'll be my next video though. Okay. Anyway, so now I'm going to do this color. Make sure it's not. It is a little see-through, so this is gonna. This is gonna take a minute. I'll probably show like the first one, and then I will. Um, you'll see. You'll see. Let me get my threads. One. I really like all these colors together. I wasn't quite sure. And then I messed up. This one was going to be, I was going to switch the colors on those two, but I like how it turned out. 
I have so many embroidery bows because my daughter doesn't wear bows anymore even though she says she wants them and claims them and everything but she just doesn't she will on occasion occasionally she will put one on but for the most part she does not so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one I have all my embroidered bows from past videos just sitting on my, I have a little shelf that way, <laughs> um, just sitting there. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll give them away. Or list them. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add some little decorative dots, like little flower buds. So I'm going to do a French knot again, if you don't remember. Wrap it, the needle, and put it down. You do it next to the stitch, next to the hole that we made. And then grab your needle, hold on to this, and then voila. Oh, my camera is going to die. So I'm going to do this around this and I think I'm going to um, mirror this design on this side or just place it somewhere I don't know if it'll be exactly mirrored probably not because I don't know but my camera's gonna die so I'll be back when the embroidery is done so goodbye okay so my camera is or the battery is charged and this is what I got. I just mirrored this design and did all the French knots off camera because that would have taken a really long time. Not only that, but I forgot to mention that I tied the back after each one. So yeah, that would have taken a really long time. So anyway, so I did the purple and I kind of liked it and I'm like, oh, maybe I should do yellow and then I didn't like it so I added like the green little leaves and now it's I kind of like it I didn't want to do it on both sides I don't think <laughs> I haven't really let me mess with it and see if that's something I should have done yeah that's all right <laughs> so now I am kind of putting it back in its shape that we ironed it before and I did not turn my hot glue gun on which I thought I did so yeah I will be back once that heats up <laughs> while we're waiting for that to heat up since these are sitting right here. I just added these to my A Lazy Tuesday shop, which is linked below. And it's the, um, I showed all my products that I'm putting in my shop like forever ago, but I'm slowly now just adding them to my Etsy shop. And these weren't even on my Shopify, so I thought they were super cute. So I have rose quartz. And they even fit on the thumb. I have green aventurine and carnelian. How oh, cute. And you can stack them and layer them and all that stuff. But these are in the shop. And I only have three of each. And I might... I might keep some. I don't know. I mean, I probably will, but... Those are in the shop. And I added the stickers to my shop too. I don't have them next to me. Wait, I mean, actually.
It's been a bit since I've, I don't even know if I added these. Oh, I did forever ago. But I just added them, just added them to my Shopify like a little bit before I closed my Shopify. So I have a swallow o bird and then shoot for the moon, dance with the stars. So these are my shop too. And I'm trying to think of what else I should add like next. Um, yeah. It's going to do necklaces, but I think I might do, like, I still have all the crystals sitting, like, behind this, like, back that way. <laughs> uh, so, if I list them, then I can pack them up, like, pack them up, or put them, like, where I'm going to store them. Okay, so my hot glue is, gonna, is hot, but you're probably going to see it, and it's really dirty like there's glue all over there's no way there's no hiding it so I'm just letting you know <laughs> it's a sure bonder oh nice close-up of all the gunk it's all glue my little stand thing it comes with a stand uh, it broke so I have to like set it down and then it all just burns the paper and everything that you set it on because it's a high temp one and it has like this a super small nozzle and that's why I liked it. I got this when I was doing felt flowers and I needed a super, super small tip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you don't have to do this part, but I like to, is this not hot yet? Just a little dab of the corners. That way folding it is a little bit easier because everything just kind of stays where it's supposed to. Okay. And then fold this up. Do a little dab again. I think if I were to do this design again I would make it so an inch bigger both ways so this is five and a half inches by four inches I think I would do six and a half inches by five inches so especially with the embroidery so if you by chance remake this and you do that size tag me so I can see what that size would look like so these don't match evenly and um, I've never had a problem with that. You can do it that way, but since I've embroidered, I'm not going to, because then this would obviously wrap around. So anyway, <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. So then I am going to fold the middle like that, and then like this, and then kind of, hold on one sec. I can feel these little flaps, so I'm gonna glue those down real quick, just with a little bit of glue. Okay. So fold it in the middle, fold back, fold forward, <laughs> fold back. Or you could do it this way. You want to start with folding it back and you want to end with it folding back too. I'm not sure which way is easier for the first time. I've done this a couple times with this bow so it already has like those creases. So it's easier kind of both ways. Yeah, I guess the fan, doing it as a fan, how I just did it works best. Oh, are you gonna focus? So it looks something like that. See, that's why I'd make it a little bit bigger so um, your designs wouldn't get stuck inside the folds. I don't mind it, but if it bothers you, then just go with the bigger size or do a different design. Okay. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in between this fold and this fold. That fold and that fold. 
And then I'm gonna fold it over and then I'm gonna put it in between this fold, this fold, and this fold. That's not in focus. So this fold, this fold, and this fold. There's three folds. So fold, 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 fold. I just kind of hold it for a second. And then it looks like that. And now it's time to do the middle. So grab the middle. And I'm also going to do the same thing I did with the other one. I'm going to put a dot of glue here and a dot of glue to glue that down. And then another dot to glue that part down. going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and then clip it glue it that way so this long bit is going towards the back so a little bit of glue on the bottom now if you were going to put a nylon on this I don't give me one second So like one of those um, nylon headbands, if you make bows, you know what it is. Uh, I just saw one on my desk, that's why this is bothering me. This is when you would put that in, like you'd put it, I don't even, we'll pretend this little scrunchie is a nylon. This is also on my shop currently, <laughs> if you're interested. You would put it in like this. This is, pretend this is nylon. And then you would, yeah, this is the part where you would put it in and then. But if you're doing a hair clip, like I'm doing, just wrap it around. I like to make this part a little loose just to make up for the clip that we're gonna add, but then to just make it look a little thicker for just the way it looks towards the front. I just like it. Because if you make it too tight, then you'll see all the, the folds and everything behind it. And then you're gonna cut a little bit off. And also, if you don't know you're going to make it a nylon or a clip, what you could do, I'm going to cut a little bit more. You And you still want to like use them for pictures or something. You could put like a little, little dab of glue and then uh, take pictures or do whatever with it. And then if someone wants nylon, it's you can just it off. That's what I do. Because it's easy to undo it. And then I did a little bit too much. Just do a little bit of glue. But see, since we made that added a lot of extra, it kind of looks fuller. Sorry, my husband's wandering around like a crazy person. Uh, and because we added um, so much of this, it kind of look has like a nicer shape, I think. But if you did too much, obviously, 
if you did it too tight you would see all that and it will kind of shrink your bow a little bit I really like this and you know what this color palette I'm gonna make a necklace with these colors that's why I haven't put them away but I did my a new necklace design you guys have if you've if you're not new to my channel welcome back and if you're new welcome but the last video I did the collab things I didn't even realize so this is a necklace with the come on the two and then this one and then lucky the two well this one and then the two pretty much like that <laughs> you know what I mean I did like the same design I didn't even mean to do that and I didn't realize it until I was the battery was charging and I was looking at it and I'm like I really like this design and this color palette and then I thought about it and I'm like wait a second I've done this before so anyway <laughs> so then I use one of these uh, alligator clips they make them like triangle ones too but I like these ones and depending on what side like what you want the front of your bow I would want this side to be the front and then this be towards the back of the head kind of just because there's more of it so it kind of you know I don't know so yeah I would put it in this way these are in my um, Amazon storefront video too if you are interested and they come in like a pack of so on a lot it's kind of tricky to get in depending on what side you're trying to get into because of that fold on the other side of this but if you just go in it from it this way to kind of help it lay down lay flat then you'll be able to get it in on the other side There we go. Here, boo. I really like how this turned out. And then I would add some hot glue on the underside if you're selling them as clips, just so this stays. And then also, if you're selling them on a nylon, nylon uh, what I like to do is send an extra little clip too, because then when the customer's kiddo gets older, assuming they bought it for a baby if it's on nylon, they could cut the nylon and then pull the nylon off and then put this little clip in. So they can, it'll last longer. So yeah, that is how I made this bow. Let me know what you think below and if you have any other videos you would like to see from me. But until next time, <laughs> sorry I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for being here and watching this video so yeah I'll see you guys next not next Tuesday because I'm doing every other week now so I will see you you know not next Tuesday the Tuesday after though but if you follow along on my social media is down below you'll see me sooner than that obviously so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling hope you guys have a great day and i will okay i was about to repeat myself goodbye